Hello there, this is Rahul and in today's session we are going to talk about Terraform modules. The today's session has been divided into two parts. In the first part, we are going to see what are the basics behind Terraform modules and how we can create a Terraform module. In the second part, we are going to perform a demo where we are going to create a couple of modules and we are going to deploy those two modules onto AWS. To start with our first part, let's take an example to understand the Terraform module. Because if we'll go with the official documentation and official definition of a Terraform modules, then it will be really hard to understand what the Terraform modules are. So here in this example, you can see our developer is working on his Terraform script, which will be responsible for installing Apache HTTP server. Uh, there is a one more developer in the same team who is also working on the Terraform script, but that Terraform script is responsible for managing the e-commerce application. So that Terraform script is completely different and that is used for provisioning the infrastructure which is needed for an e-commerce application. With the time, uh, there is a need for uh, installing Apache HTTP server alongside with the e-commerce application. So here, uh, developer2 has its own Terraform script, but into that Terraform script, he has the infrastructure set up only for e-commerce application. There is no uh, instruction which is provided for installing Apache HTTP server. But on the other hand, developer1 has a Terraform script which is responsible for only installing Apache HTTP server. So is there a way a developer two can borrow the Terraform script from developer one so that he can install Apache HTTP server? So there comes the Terraform module. So what we can do over here is we can create a module in which we can define how to install HTTP server and we can import that module into the developer two Terraform script. So what will happen with it is uh, we can reuse the functionality of installing Apache HTTP server uh, and we can use the Terraform script inside our developer to Terraform script. So with that, what will happen is you don't need to rewrite the whole function or the whole Terraform script for installing Apache to HTTP server. And we can just reuse this uh, complete Terraform script as a module uh, for developer to. All right, now we have seen an example and now we got an idea like how Terraform module works. Let's head over to demo and in the demo, what we are going to do, we are going to create a couple of modules and we are going to name them as a module one and module two. And we are going to reference both the module inside our main.tf that is going to be our main Terraform file. So once we execute or once we apply the using the Terraform apply command, then both the module is going to be executed and whatever code or whatever Terraform infrastructure code written into that module is going to be applied. So for this case, we are going to apply this on AWS. All right, here you can see this is my Terraform module projects. And once I open this Terraform module project, then you will notice there are a couple of module which I have created. So here this is module one and this is module two. Along with that, you will also notice there is a main.tf that is going to be your parent tf or parent terraform file. So here, uh, first of all, you should notice over here is that we are referencing module one as well as module two. So how to reference a module or how to call a module. So first of all, what you need to do is you need to create this main.terraform file and into that file, you need to first define the provider since we are going to work on AWS. That's why I have uh, defined the provider as AWS. Apart from that, you need to provide the reason access key and the secret key. If you don't know how to fetch this reason access key and secret key, then I would recommend you to follow the part one where I have shown like how you can create an EC2 instance and how you can fetch this information like a reason access key and secret key. So I would highly recommend to follow that part one. All right, now we have defined the provider. The second thing what you need to do is you need to call a module. So here, uh, the first keyword which you need to put over here is module. Apart from that, you need to define the name of the module. So this module name can be user defined. So you can put any name or any type of name of your choice for the module. So here I have put in the name as jhook web server one because both the, in both the module, we are going to install Apache HTTP server. Moving further, this is my second module. And here you can see again, I have used the keyword as module and I have uh, kept a name as jhook web server two. And apart from that, we have defined as a source. So here, this is the source. And uh, here we need to define the path of the module from where it is going to pick the module. 
So if you look carefully over here, so this is my main.tf and just parallel or into the same hierarchy, you can find the module one as well as the module two. That's why the path is relative over here, uh, followed by, uh, I think it's a forward slash. So these are the forward slash we are going to use to reference the module one as well as the module two. Along with the today's session, I'm just going to share this guide. Uh, this is my blog post where I have taken the same example, which I have just explained to you. So here you will find all the description along with the Terraform script, which I have used into this demo. So I'll put the link of this guide into the description section of this video. So feel free to use this guide and you will find this Terraform script over here. So this is the Terraform script for module one which you can copy from here and this is the terraform script for module 2 so this is also available here so if you need uh, to make some kind of a changes then please feel free to make and make it to your own use now we have seen the complete structure of our terraform module project along with the module 1 and module 2 and with our parent main.tf file let's head over to module 1 and see what's what are the content inside our module 1 so if you open this module 1 directory then you will find a main.tf output.tf and variables.tf so you can easily resemble this structure with a similar terraform project so in a typical terraform project you will have a main.tf output.tf and variables.tf so module is just similar to a separate workspace or a separate terraform project where it has its own main.tf file so this is going to be our first main.tf file of our module one so let's open the main.tf this main.tf file contains the code for installing Apache 2 server onto our EC2 instance. So if you look carefully, this is the bash script which is needed for installing Apache 2 server onto our EC2 instance. But let's start from the first block. So this is going to be the first block which we need to define. And we need to define the required version which is needed for this setup. So we will be using the version 0.12. Secondly, we need to create an EC2 instance. So we need to define a, as a resource and resource name is AWS instance. And here uh, the name of uh, AWS instance. So it can be anything of your choice. Just put a suitable name over here. Then secondly, we need to put the machine ID. And here I have taken the variable that is AMI underscore ID and the variable value I have defined inside my variable dot TF. So this is the AMI ID, which I'll be using for my EC2 instance. After that, we need to define the instance type and that also I have defined into the variable. So if you go into the variable.tf, then you will find the uh, instance type which I'm using is t2.micro. So this is just for an example purpose. That's why I'm using the t2.micro. But in case if you are working on a production environment, then just choose some higher CPU, maybe t2.large or t2.extra uh, uh, extra large. That would suit your need. So third thing is we need to define the key name. Uh, this is just an optional thing. Uh, but if you are interested in setting up your SSH keys, then just create one key pair and here assign the public key name. Uh, this key I have defined over here in the bottom. So this is the resource which we need to create for key pair. So the name should be AWS key pair and uh, uh, the key name should be AWS underscore key. And this is my public key over here, which I have generated for uh, this setup. I'll upload a separate video on how to create an uh, SSH key pair for, and use it with the Terraform. Uh, but in case if you want to know like how to set up your SSH keys on AWS, not with Terraform, then I have already, I will put a link of that video into the description section. I have already uploaded that video onto my channel. So just go back and check that uh, video. I'll put somewhere into the description or either into the tooltip section. Okay, coming back to uh, the modules. The next thing which we need to do is we need to create a security group. And here you can see this is my security group, which I have already defined over here. So here you will find the AWS security group uh, and the name of the security group that is main. Apart from that, you need to put the name and description, uh, which you can put it by yourself with uh, uh, with your suitable name. Secondly, uh, since we will be installing the Apache HTTP2 server, so we need to enable the port 80. That is, uh, we need to open it. Otherwise, we will not be able to access our home page or the landing page of our Apache 2 server. 
Second, these ports are needed if you want to SSH or if you want to log in into your EC2 instance after you start your EC2 instance using Terraform. So this is the port which is needed. And uh, this is the default port which I just kept it and uh, with the CIDR block. So it, this port is just optional. If you want to keep it, that's okay. If you don't want to keep it, that's also fine. Okay, so now we are done with our, oh no, we are left with one more thing, the installation script. So this is the installation script, uh, which is needed for installing Apache 2 server. And here you can see this is the bash script actually. And if we will go one by one. So whenever you need to define a long bash script, so this is the way you need to define inside your EC2 instance resource. So that is going to be AWS underscore instance. So this is the resource tag uh, inside you need to define the bash script. Okay, so now we have gone through AMI, instance type, key name, security group, and now this is the bash script which we need to go through. So we'll start with first, the first command is we will go and update our package manager. Second, we are going to install Apache 2 using this command, sudo apt install y Apache 2. Third, we are going to check the status of our Apache 2. Fourth, we are going to start the Apache 2 service. Fifth, we are going to change the permission. So as you know, once you install Apache 2, then you will get a directory created like a slash where www slash HTML. So this is the directory location. And in that directory, you will find the HTML files uh, like the home page or the landing page of Apache 2. So once you access the Apache 2, so that, that the default page will be available onto that directory. So we need to change the permission of that directory so that uh, uh, user can access it the current user can access it actually so this is the command for that and the last one is we are going to create an html page with some hello message and the message is going to be hello this is module one and with some instance id of the ec2 instance which we are going to start so this is our uh, complete uh, terraform file or the main dot terraform file of module one where we are going to install apache http server uh, with some custom message like hello this is module one so this is going to be my module one exactly the same thing which i am doing into the module two also and here if you open the module two then you will not notice any much of a difference so here everything is same and you can see uh, this is the bash script which i am using and it is also going to install the same apache 2 and the only thing which i have changed over here is the module 2 message and here you can see this is the message uh, which i have changed so this is also going to install the apache 2 server onto uh, onto aws now we have gone through all the modules and the parent.main.tf now it's time to run our terraform script so probably i'll reduce the font over here and i'll open the terminal and uh, i will reduce the path over here so that yeah that looks much better now what we need to do is we need to go into the directory where our terraform module project is so i will go into terraform modules and here if you do ls then you will find this is our main.tf that is going to be our parent tf and this is these are the module module 2 and module 1 so what we need to do is the first command which we need to run is terraform init. Okay, that's been done. The next command which I'm going to run over here is the terraform plan. Okay, now here you can see there are five resources which is going to be added. So now I have finished my terraform plan command and the next command which I'm gonna run is terraform apply. I'll clear the screen and I'm just gonna type terraform apply. Uh, there seems to be some problem. Okay, so I think terraform. Yeah, that's the correct command type yes
All right, so here you can see five resources has been added and applied to AWS. Let's head over to our AWS dashboard and see if we are able to, if we are, we have created those resources or not. Okay, this is my dashboard and here this is my EC2 instance, which I need to click. And as you can see, uh, we have couple of modules, module one and module two, and each module we have started an EC2 instance. So here you can see there are two EC2 instance, which is of type t2.micro, which are up and running. So here you can see this is my instance ID one, which I can click and open. And I'm just gonna open the second one also. So this is the first instance ID or the first instance which I have provisioned using either my uh, module one or module two, and this is the second one. So both the EC2 instance are up and running. That means we are able to execute our Terraform module project successfully. Now, after verifying that our EC2 instance is running, uh, the next thing which we need to verify is we need to verify that we have installed the Apache HTTP server successfully or not. So for that, what you need to do, you need to copy this public IP address from here, go to the next tab, paste that IP address, and always remember, do not put HTTPS because we haven't installed any uh, SSL certificate. So we just simply need to type in the IP address uh, along with HTTP without any S and just hit enter. So here you can see, uh, this is the message. Hello, this is module one and instance ID is this, this. So this was the message which we have put when we were installing the module one and which we, you can verify from here also. Uh, I will reduce the screen size and this is the main.tf of module one as you can see and this was the message hello this is module one and the instance id and insta in the instance id we are putting just the instance id of my aws instance ec2 instance okay similarly if you go back to the other instance and here just copy this ip address go to next tab paste it over here and uh, simply type the http uh, without s and uh, that's it and this is my module two. So now you can see uh, we are able to execute both the module and we are able to install the Apache HTTP server using module one and module two. And this is my main.tf, which were internally calling module one and module two. So this main.tf was doing nothing. It was just simply calling the module one and module two. So now you know like how to create Terraform modules and what are the concepts behind the Terraform module. And the today's demo just like a proof of concept, you can customize the whole project with your own software packages which you want to install uh, along with the other Terraform module. So use this uh, example just as a reference and I'll share the guide along with the code uh, which you can find into the description section of this video. So feel free to use it. And if you have any question related to the today's session, then please put down into the comment section and I'll try to get back to you. And if you are interested into the similar content like Kubernetes, uh, Docker, DevOps, uh, Helm chart, then please do follow this channel where I keep on uploading the similar content on weekly basis. So till then, see you into the next session. Bye bye.